Yo, what is up? It is Spice HD here, back with another video, and it has been years since I have been doing a video on Minecraft. And I know one of my first videos that you would see as Spice HD was saying that I wouldn't do any more of these Minecraft videos, but as you can see, everybody's doing it, and Minecraft is popular again. So I might as well hop back on it. I'm not saying I'm a bandwagon because technically I started off doing Minecraft videos, so really I'm just catching up. There's no better way to come back to this than starting a Skyblock series, so I've been wanting to do this for, well, since I first started. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. I still know how to do this. I remember over there we're going to get to that island. And right in here, yep, the stuff for the cobblestone generator. So first, I'm going to punch down this tree, but save just the last log so it won't disintegrate. All right, so let's go ahead and make a crafting bench. And when I downloaded this map, they actually had a list of 50 things to do. Okay, so first one is build a cobblestone generator, and then a house, and then expand the island. So I think you got to kind of expand the island before you do a house. But first, we'll do a cobblestone generator, but we're going to need to dig it out first and I remember how to do it so I'm not gonna mess it up because I know if you do it wrong then you can make obsidian and then the whole thing's over. So first obviously I'm gonna need a crafting table and then I'm gonna make some sticks so that I can make a pickaxe. And then what I always did was I would always leave like two sticks and then well for now wood to make another pickaxe just in case. But once I make this generator I'll keep three cobblestone just in case. Alright so first I'm gonna go ahead and dig out the cobblestone generator. So one right here. Alright so always save the dirt and you always gotta leave like a patch of grass and I don't want to lose any blocks of dirt so I'm gonna make slabs and put them under the island so I can get all the dirt. Alright so the lava goes right here. So to get water you just put the ice on the surface, break off your hand, pick it up with a bucket so that it doesn't go back to ice and then place it on this side put the bucket back in there just in case and then there you go you got the generator oh well it'll ship down one so let's go ahead and collect some cobble oh, and no. i don't want to lose no, no, any no. blocks of and dirt. i already lost my first piece of dirt all right so i did a little hole right here so i can just mine it this way so i can get more of it and man i'm really mad that i lost that piece oh. of dirt i don't know how much dirt is actually on the island but i know one of them is missing because of the bedrock so getting rid of another one is not helpful at all Oh no. And the reason why I have the lava on this side, even though it keeps catching on fire, is because if I do it over here and if I die, then I'll spawn right back in the lava and then that's not gonna be pretty. Also, that reminds me one of the rules was to not jump off the island if you like need to get health or to fill up your hunger bars. But I might just fall off a few times. Alright, so I got some cobblestone here and my pick already broke. So like I said, I always like to have three cobblestone in here just in case. Let's go ahead and make a cobblestone pickaxe and then we can mine a lot faster. Okay, so it's already starting to get dark. That's why I'm going to make stone slabs because one, it saves me a lot of blocks and two, mobs can't spawn on them. That's a lie. I guess they changed it. You'll see later in the video. So if anything, they'll just spawn over there. But I do need to kill some spiders so I can get string because I need to make a bed because I don't know if they were able to disable them in this map or not. I doubt it. But those giant bat things. Phantoms. Oh my god, those things will just wreck me. Because obviously Skyblock's so old, so that's like way before those things even existed. And I think it's three nights you don't sleep and they start spawning. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some half slabs. And I want to, like I said, get underneath the whole thing so that I can get all the blocks. So what I'm going to do is face up and then jump down so I can place it on the bottom. Okay, so now I can get underneath and get all the dirt blocks. So it doesn't look like anything has spawned over there yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and start making my way over there. I don't see anything over there. And nothing will spawn on my island because I have light. Okay, so nothing has spawned over there still, which is weird. Maybe I gotta put the difficulty up. All right, so I made some more slabs so I can get over there. Since I'm over here, might as well grab the stuff. Alright, so I just bumped the difficulty up to hard just for now. In hopes of something spawning over there. Okay, so sometimes they spawn the bridge, but since I have a half slab bridge, they're not going to spawn. So what I think I'm going to do is make a little area over here with a little platform. So a spider just spawned over there. Okay, good. So there's one string, 
And here we go. Now they're spawning. I guess they can spawn on the slabs. Oh, and see, that's why I didn't want to do it with the spider. All right, so now that daytime is coming, I'm going to go ahead and... First, I need some more cobblestone. But I want to make a platform so monsters can spawn. And I'll put a little fence around it so that they don't fall off like that poor zombie did earlier. Uh, uh, achoo! Oh, no. I fell. Oh, look at that. My hunger's up all the way. First, let's break all of these. Because I think that's how they were spawning. Because hopefully they didn't make it to where they actually spawn on slabs now because that would suck oh but they did all right so i got rid of all those so probably like midway right over here definitely gonna need some more cobblestone but i'll just use up what i have right now all right so i think i'm gonna put slabs around the perimeter so i'll have the fence on those now my only concern is that like if there's a skeleton it could just like shoot me as i'm on my way over here so hopefully it doesn't happen i still gotta finish getting that tree Oh no. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I just lost another dirt block. Jeez, okay, so I lost two dirt blocks. That's that's sad day. Alright, we're gonna be cutting it close to when it comes to night. And I have just the right amount of fences, which is good. One, two, alright, perfect. Just make that wider because we can. Alright, now we just gotta wait for them to start spawning there. Hopefully I just don't get knocked off, that would suck. Oh, okay, we got a skeleton with an enchanted bow. That's not what I wanted with skeletons. Oh, okay, good, there's a spider. Oh, no, no, oh my gosh. They are spawning everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna actually make it normal now because there's way too many spawning. Oh, crap. No. The move is just to stay in the water. And holy crap, look at all those things. Okay, so I'm not getting spiders to spawn. I'm just getting creepers and skeletons. Okay, I might actually knock it down to easy. Because they're just spawning way too much. Yeah, at this point, I don't care if they fall off the edge. There's just way too many. I just need spiders to spawn and... Oh, there's, there's a spider. Holy crap. Whoa. Okay, they'll fight themselves for a little bit. But dang, I'm just trying to get the spider over here. And they're just gone mad. I'm fast as Holy crap. Boy. Yo, this skeleton was so freaking fast. No, what? Yo, how did it blow up? It was nowhere near me. Yeah, I don't know why that creeper blew up. I'm kind of mad about that because that was a lot of work getting those, those blocks. Nope. Okay, we got a string. There's a spider all the way out here. Oh crap, I'm gonna die. Might as well just die accidentally. Oh, but it can't attack me down here. Okay, so that's the way to get spiders. They can't go in there. All right, so we got three string. So we can almost make one wool. All right, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep it stored in here and then just lure them in. No! No, it fell off. Oh, what? Nothing. Cobweb right there, so I just need these creepers to follow me off the edge. Oh, no. Oh, crap. I actually didn't mean to do that that time. Yes, okay, good. So it despawned. So now I should be able to pick up this loot over here. What? The string despawned. All right, so I got some more stone so that I can repair the little damage they did. Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to like fence it in a little bit so that I can go across the bridge without falling off. Alright, so of course I'm going to use half slabs just to save cobblestone. So, I'm going to do most of this stuff like on video for the series, but like getting cobblestone, I'm going to do a lot of it like off camera. So like all the major stuff will be on camera, but like just like the boring stuff like collecting cobblestone will be off. So the only problem is if phantoms start spawning, it's going to suck because I don't have a bed and don't even have enough for one wool. So just in case phantoms do spawn while I'm offline getting cobblestone, I'll put on peaceful just to get cobblestone, but I won't do anything else. So with that being said, I think I'm going to come to a little break and end the video right here. So I hope you all did enjoy this first video of the series. hope you guys do like it. If you do, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment saying you want to see more. But 
honestly, if this video gets like no views, I'm still gonna do it anyways because this is fun. So yeah, I'll see you guys pretty soon. And I gotta edit this video today and upload it because I forgot to do a video this week and I wanna upload at least once a week. So if this does well, I might actually be able to upload at least twice a week. All right, so I'll see you guys very soon. Peace out, bye.